five of your six, 16 skaters tonight are, are signed to PTOs and, and you were undermanned again. Uh, how, how challenging is it for this team right now and, and for you as a coach? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of uh, adversity. I feel bad for, I feel bad for the fans. You know, we're, uh, we're a lot of guys are trying their best and uh, some new guys getting an opportunity. And, uh, you know, and, and, you know, we have a, a poor defenseman just came in on a PTO. Like his equipment doesn't arrive. The guy's wearing like, new skates and new equipment. You know, I can imagine how difficult that is. But, uh, but yeah, I feel bad. I don't mean to make excuses, uh, but I feel bad for our home fans. You know, we, we, want, it, we want more. We want to show you more. Uh, unfortunately, I just feel like that's uh, it's just kind of the, the, the way the groundwork has, has been laid right now. Of some of those new guys uh, in your lineup, uh, Yushiro Hirano, uh was one of them that's, that's been quite noticeable both yesterday and into today. Um, what have you thought of his play during uh, his first two games for your team? Yeah, no, I thought he had a better uh, game last game. Uh, I thought he had a little bit more jump there. and then, uh, um, But yeah, he's a, he's a dependable winger. He looks like he has a good shot. Uh, and he uh, skates uh, reasonably well. Your goaltender, Arter Silovs, hadn't started since late November and hadn't played in a game since December uh, 12th, I believe. Um, what, what did you think of his play tonight after such a long layoff? Arter is good. Uh, you know, Artie was, uh, he was going to play the uh, game here before Christmas. We had talked about that. And then, uh, you know, I feel bad, you know, with the three goalies, he's the guy who's kind of got a bit of the shaft lately. And for no reason, really. I mean, he's, uh, he's a good young goalie. He's a promising young prospect. And uh, I guess one kind of good thing is uh, Spencer Martin recall to the taxi squad is that it allows for Artie to get some more ice time for sure. And, and he's going to. And I know it was a 4 nothing game, but I didn't think that. I thought he played well to me. Lots of tired bodies in the room right now. How do you regroup for tomorrow? Good job. Uh, thank you, Bailey. Uh, next up, we'll go to Chris Faber of Sportsnet 650. Uh, Coach, you... Uh... You sat Daniil Klunovic late in the last game. What did you think of his bounce back tonight? Was there more effort in the defensive zone from him? Yep, I thought he played really well tonight, actually. Uh, is there any update on Jack Rathbone's injury status? Uh, not available to us tomorrow. Okay, uh, and finally, with, uh, with Yoshiro Hirano, uh, I know you kind of answered a question about him already, but it felt like he's the type of guy who looks like he knows – where to go in offensive zones and tonight blocked a couple of big shots as well. What did you like from him tonight? Yeah, no, he uh, thought, like I said, I thought he had a better game the other night for us. Uh, you know, he's a guy, maybe if uh, getting used to the speed and then you have to play him not back to back, but uh, I guess we'll tomorrow. But uh, he uh, looks like a decent hockey player. We're just getting to know a lot of these guys. So, but uh, yeah, and it's nice that he blocked a few shots as well.